Hello and welcome. I'm Sarah Idan, Miss Iraq 2017. <laughs> I met Ada in Vegas during Miss Universe competition. We became friends in less than 10 minutes. All it took for us to feel connected was we were both not concerned with the difference of our faith, beliefs, and nationality. We were both just two humans with an open heart that embrace, embrace diversity and fascinated by the lives that we both led. Right then and there, we became like sisters. And I think more than anything, we were eager to show each other the love and support and to let the whole world know we stand for love and peace. Some of you may heard this quote by a brilliant man. Insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Since the dawn of time, we were born with a keen ambition to, to survive and to carry our legacy for the next generations. That ambition gave us the ability to progress in ways our minds couldn't conceive. Yet when it came to matters that touched our hearts deeply, such as our God, our faith, our lands, and our rights, our ambition and our minds seem to remain ancient. Ladies and gentlemen, I come here today not just to declare my intention that I seek peace. I travel thousands of miles and put my life in a risk, not just to express how so many of us are tired of this endless war between our countries. I come here to present you with the most vital question. What are we willing to try to provide our future sons and daughters the peace and life of dignity and harmony? And how can we achieve it? It is time to seek a new method, one that does not consist in emphasizing our disagree disagreements and planting hatred between our people, but rather one that seeks reasoning, mutual compromise, and nation's unity. Some of you may know I was born in Baghdad, but my family come from Hilla, the capital city of Babylon. I remember like it was yesterday, my father showing me and my siblings the ruins of what used to be the first and greatest empire known to existence telling us the stories behind the Tower of Babel and Hammurabi Code, and how this land came to be the origin of all faiths. You see, the sense of identity, you see, the sense of identity that our ancestors have given us has vital importance on our values and who we are as humans today. It must be acknowledged and celebrated. This is why I believe Israel and Palestine should both have a right to coexist in this beautiful land. <laughs> and last but not least, my hope is I get to see my Jewish brothers and sisters roam free from Jerusalem to Ramallah, to Babylon, and to the Nile. And for my fellow Arabs and Muslims, to walk through Israel without the fear of having Israel's stamp on their passport, and for the Palestinians to not live in the fear of being displaced, to cross Tel Aviv beaches and pray at Al-Aqsa without complication, a new chapter for Israel and Palestine with less blood and more amity. I want to thank AJC and everyone for allowing me this wonderful opportunity. Salam and Shalom.